So this week on my dream path, I discovered a totally new inner critic that I had no idea that I had. And I've been writing about that on my blog. So it's felt like this really intense thing for me, like this idea that I have this part of me that believes that I'm not a writer. Even though, of course, I've mostly made my living writing the last eight and a half years. <laughs> but something about claiming that title. So I've been sharing about that both in the Creative Dream Circle and on, on my blog and I've been having these beautiful discussions about it. And it has nothing to do with writing or writers. It has to do with the places where we struggle to claim our true gifts. And often we don't even know what our true gifts are. Like we don't always know what they are. That's something that we discover by following our, our dreams and being on this path. So for me, it's just writer, but other people I've been talking to, it's other things where, you know, I want to claim the title of a healer or an artist. So what's interesting for me is that I've never felt a draw before a desire to want to be a writer or to think of myself in that way. But as I've been working with this inner critic, what I found is I do have a really big desire for it. And not just that I have a desire to change my own self-concept in that way, to claim that gift for myself. But that doing that opens up new doors, it changes some of my perspectives, it uh, inspires new projects and new possibilities, and that's really exciting right now. And so, yeah, I love that people are engaging with me in this discussion that we have been over the past couple of days, where like, where are our self identities or self concepts limiting us? Because your self-concept is always limiting you. That's always like the way the way that it's going to be because your true self is infinite. And we're only ever claiming a certain amount of our gifts anyway. And we can always step into that more, more deeply. And of course, the more deeply you step into that, the more of your own power you have access to, the more you can make happen in your world, the more inspired you're going to be, the more energized you're going to be. So much healing and transformation comes from examining our self-concept and being willing to be wrong, <laughs> being willing to let something new come in. So that's where I am at this week, and I'll see you back here next week.